up everyone, this is Babraham42 and welcome to my Let's Play of the Dyson Sphere program. Um, I have played a little bit just to kind of test it out, make a test recording. Um, I think I've gotten everything ironed out that I need to get this working. So, without further ado, let's jump in. Hmm. So this game, I think, is made by a Chinese team originally. To the actual so it is a translation, and it's not all amazing, but it's, I mean, it's good enough. It seems like a fun game so far. We get to fly around in our spaceship here for a minute. It's a very pretty game, at least when you're in space. Well, I mean, it's pretty on the planets too. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step by using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland, starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. Alright, the controls for this are a little wonky, especially for someone used to Elite Dangerous. But I don't think you spend a whole lot of time in the ship. You can control your yaw with A and D. But as far as pitch goes, you just look where you want to be and you press W. So I wonder if I could go to a planet other than this one. Don't exactly care enough to find out at the moment. Now you are about to reach the designated yeah. planet. Get into orbit and I lose control again. It's quite pretty from up here. And the scale for this does not change when we land either. I'm just your character and all the things you interact with are huge. And this seems like a much better start point than I got on my test this file. Icarus, all the important starting resources are a lot closer. You can use the arrow keys or right click on the destination to control its movement. Yep. I sure can. All right. I actually forgot what they want me to do, so maybe I shouldn't have skipped that. Get some stone. There's titanium in some of these big rocks. Now try to recycle the space capsule. Right click on it to recycle. That's what they want us to do. Got a little too enthusiastic with slipping skipping the tutorials. Get some fuel from you can this. Use the same operation to collect resources, such as trees, gravel. Etc. In the meantime, hold down shift and right click to give a series of commands. Actually, a tree first. You receive several items after recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to open the cabin to view them. Or you can also press E. Do we have any coal nearby? We're going to need that at some point. Oop. You can hold down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Sure can. Is this coal? This is our coal. So the coal's far away. Yet you have not unlocked the construction menu, which will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Yet I have Click not. The technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree and activate a research. We press F for this. We need to make some magnets, boys. And while we do that, let's go get some coal because I'm gonna need fuel soon. Actually, I've got this for now, but I'll wait until it tells me to do it.
All right. Oh, that's what happened. I accidentally unclicked, unchecked the box instead of letting it work. I was confused there for a minute. Energy is required in all mecha activities. If it is depleted, the activity is Proceed open restricted. this menu. You can click the mecha panel button at the bottom right of the screen to open the mecha panel and resupply fuel into the fuel chamber. You have sure the can. Machine to achieve ore collecting automation. Pick it up from the inventory or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. You can use the R key to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grid snapping, try holding down the shift key. Wind turbine. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. Will do. You have done building the first power transmission facility, Tesla Tower. It can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the power supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. All of that is true. And if you didn't notice, you can click on something that requires craftable components that you haven't crafted yet. And you'll automatically craft everything you need to make it, which is super cool, in my opinion. And these fill up really fast at the start of the game. Am I running out of power already? That's all right. make two more of these for now and we'll check out tech tree get the basic logistics system going need 10 of these and 10 of these And it'll yell at you when you unlock new upgrades as you go through. Oh man, I forgot to look at what time it was when I started this. I'm just going to assume I've been going for like 10 minutes. And stop at about 8.50. Um, so yeah. And those should craft up and we should finish that research. Let's go grab some coal, because we will need it before too long. Yeah, some, I actually really like this. Your robot dude just flies over the water. Just had this thought. Didn't think about it before, because this is just kind of how most games like this are, but... Man, it would be nice if resources were this easy to find. <laughs> need coal? Just find it sticking up out of the ground. Need stone, iron, or copper? Same thing. <laughs> Alright, that should be plenty until we get a coal mine established. Speaking of mines, how many can I build right now? One. Oh, sweet. This is important. You have received the sorter and the conveyor belt, which can achieve full automation. Use the conveyor belt to transport the pile of mm. ores from the mining machine. And the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. That is an important thing to do. First, though, I think I'm going to build a couple more miners. And then I'll want four of those. That's probably enough of those for now. Um, I have two wind turbines make like five tesla towers
And in the meantime, when putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point of it. In addition, use the up arrow key to lift up one level and use the down arrow key to drop down one level after the conveyor belt. Oh, it didn't make me a storage automatically. To reset the construction height of the conveyor belt. To so I'll just have to wait a second. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the belt. You can try holding down the shift key. Yeah, but that means I should have another miner, right? Yes. Oop. Is there a way to rotate the other direction? I don't think there is. Just that one. One of your production facilities is not powered. You need to keep it within the power coverage area and supply it with power facilities in order to maintain its normal works. Its normal works. Okay, my turbines aren't in any of those tabs by default. That's interesting. Where's our coal? I do not remember. <laughs> Oh, is that it? That is, I believe. Yep. Oh, I was just short. Let's see if we can move that one so that it'll connect both as well as the copper. Well, we were close. Now we can only build four of these right now. Well, let's fix that. Let's build those 21, and we won't have to worry about it for a while. And then while we're working on that... storage which can be used you to can get that connected up you can manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo the sorter is a transportation connector of cargoes between facilities it will automatically transport them as long as the supply facility and the receiving facility are bridged all right oh, I need more fuel I've used all the other things, right? Yeah, I have. Now we need, oh, we need like a metric butt ton of these right now, but we don't have the resources. So let's just put what we've got there for now.
and get some resources from these. Try to get us to automation today if I can. All right, yeah. Now I want all 30 of those. try to have a semi central storage location over here um, I don't want them too close because I'll need to route things out of them soon too Oh, really? Okay. I'm still not super familiar with how to make the... Oh, that's trying to take things out. That's part of the reason that didn't work. Um, I'll take that away just in case I don't need it, because I think it's silly that I do, to be honest with you. There we go. I don't know why it's reaching so far out, but it is. Man, that's stacking up fast. Okay. Um, let's look at my tech tree again. Um, let's get automatic metallurgy. Let's make... 10 of those, and another 10 of those. Conveyor belt and sorter. Okay, so there are detailed tutorials there if you'd like them. Um, can I go directly from... Okay, I can't rotate those very fancily, but can I go, like, directly from this to this? I can't. Okay. It can be a very short um, conveyor belt, though. And then the coal, the coal, the coal's not here, the coal is there. Ooh, come on, there we go. Got more for my engine. They, these we are going to transport quite a distance. Can we build over the water? It would appear that we can. Oh, we finished that research. I've unlocked the smelter. Sweet. Then let's get the coal in there. This fabrication system is interesting. It's kind of cool. Oh, I'm about to run out of power. 
using up the coal too fast, I guess. Or no, I'm just using the energy faster than the coal can produce it. I wonder if that plant fuel is better at all. Oh, it's probably all the building I'm doing too. Okay. And sometimes they terraform a little when they put items down and then you get soil piles. Oh yeah, I do need to connect this to you can now click the, planet the network in the lower left corner of the screen or press the M key to try the planet view mode. Come on, come on, we almost finished the conveyor belt and I'll try out that planet view mode thing. In the planet view mode, you can hold down the middle mouse button drag Rotate the angle of view, and hold down the right mouse button. Drag to roll the angle of view. Press N key to point to the front to the North Pole. Alright. Cool. I guess this is everything that's here. I'll be able to find silicone and titanium as well. All right. Um. Cool. I I get the In feeling I view mode. Slide the mouse wheel to enter the star map mode. I get I get the feeling that I've just scratched the surface of this game. Okay. I've done that game what do you want me to do next okay so once you've gone out to that star map mode you can't just press m to get control back of your guy you have to click star map again all right sweet we're making some good progress um let's work on this yes i know there's basic or their upgrades too. I have not touched those yet. Um, talking to the game. If that wasn't apparent. So I need to make some gears. Okay. And actually this is where our assemblers are going to start. Or our smelter things are going to start to be useful. So... Let's see if we can go straight from one of these you built a smelt to another one of these. Basic materials, such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically, while you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously, you need to use sorters and conveyor belts. And I need to build more sorters. You have a building without recipe set. Please set the recipe you want. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. Um, now can I build these? Okay. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. Cool beans. Now I can also get those rolling now. And I'm going to need some more storage containers soon as well. Um, you know what? We'll make 10. Then it'll be a while before we have to worry about it again. I think once we finish this quest, we might 
end the episode. I have sorters again. All right. Sweet. Okay. Don't have another storage yet, though. Okay. So this is how we'll be able to automate making the more advanced things as well. Um, let's see. I Yes, I have another. Oop. Not what I meant to do. I have another one of these for the copper. Can I can I do just the one like that? I think I need to move this. Just a little more. And then pop that to there and that to there. Give you the copper recipe. Yes. I'm recording. Um No, I'm recording, buddy. Yeah, that was just my little brother. Do I have... I do not have any wind turbines at the moment. Let's make 10. Yeah. Get that all set up. Oh, wow. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen 10. It's going to take us two and a half minutes. Um... I guess that's not too long. How much coal do I have? Tons. Which means I have tons of fuel. It's like everything's at least still working. It's just working slower. Ooh, got a lot of plates. What about the copper plates? About half as much, that makes sense. They haven't been running as long. What's that sound? Is it just... Oh, I think it's... The smelter? I think so. Getting close, guys. Just over a minute. <laughs> Maybe I'll fast forward this part. Oh yeah, there is a jump button in this game. It feels fairly useless, and looking down uses quite a bit of power. But it, it exists. It's there. Actually, I haven't taken a close look at this guy yet. I think it's called a Cosmo robot. It's got like a laser gun on one arm. Its helmet reminds me of like a Spartan or something from Halo. Maybe an ODST. It's cool stuff. All right. Let's get a couple more wind turbines in the network. All right. That should keep us going pretty well for a while. Let's click on the Teslas. Oh, yeah. Staying at 100% satisfaction. That's what we want, my dudes. Get that plant fuel in our robot. 
Um, yeah. Can't remember where I said we'll wrap it up today, but that's probably where we're actually we'll actually wrap it up today. See you later, guys. Babraham out.